everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with the Not Too Shabby and Elegant Christmas Stamp and Die of the Month Hop. Today I'm going to show you uh, the projects that I made, and specifically I'm going to show you how I painted the scene outside the window. For the demonstration, I'm using my Prang Professional watercolors, which I have had since the beginning of time. And uh, I'm actually demonstrating on some watercolor paper that I've had also for a long time. It's not the best quality watercolor paper, but you can also do this. And in fact, I did my uh, original pieces that I put on my cards on Nina Solar White Crest 110 pound cardstock. And uh, so you can use that too. So I'm starting with some the blue that's in my set it's a primary blue and I mixed a little black in with it and uh, I'm going to actually mix uh, a little bit of black on the paper as well that's what I use for my base but I'm showing you that uh, if you use your most basic blue and add a tiniest bit of black to it you can get a darker kind of night sky. I'm going to use that particular section to demonstrate how to do the trees as well. Uh, but here I'm demonstrating how to do clouds. You're basically going to paint your blue all around, uh, leaving spots of white. I sprayed the paper first, so you're going to get some wispy clouds. Next, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more on how to make defined clouds. I'm going to use a paint palette uh, to take color out of the existing paint palette and water it down uh, a little bit. You'll see in a second I'll pull out my paint tray and I'll add some water to the tray, pull some blue into that, and you're going to get uh, a lighter uh, blue for a lighter sky with clouds. And I'm doing this mostly direct to paper, and you'll see I'm just leaving I'm pulling the paint from my palette with the watered down blue and I'm just leaving spaces to make clouds and that's how uh, you would do it. You could do this on um, dry paper and just leave open spaces. You can make straight clouds, I don't know what those are called, or you can make the big puffy clouds, I don't know what those are called. Um, you could make any shape cloud that you like and uh, just leave it as empty space. Paint around the space with your color, leaving the white space. Now I'm um, making a, a black, I'm mixing some blue, I'm mixing some green uh, with it because I don't want it to be a straight black. A straight black is very uh, dramatic. I wanna tone it with a little bit of blue and a little bit of green um, and hopefully, you know, uh, I've got way too much black in this, but if you tone it down a little bit, you'll be able to see some of that green come through. So um, notice that I turned that piece upside down so that I could use that black portion as the horizon line. And you're just going to paint lines all across your page. And then to make your trees, you're just going to do kind of like uh, comma shapes through the, st through the stick that you drew. And then you can uh, leave them like that if you like, but I like to make mine a little bit more realistic. And then I just fill in with some extra lines. So I use the initial comma shape, like a half moon shape as like the branches, let's say. And then I fill in with some more straighter lines on each side of the tree. I hope you can see that from what I'm doing. And eventually you'll see that those sticks and twigs attached to the sticks uh, fill out and look like trees for your background. Again, just commas and graduate from smaller half moons to larger half moons as you go because a tree is narrower at the top than it is at the bottom, right? And then fill in your spaces with additional uh, lines. You can do full trees if you like. Make it a, a wonky triangle shape, right? Just fill in and um, there's your trees. I'm not explaining it very well, but I hope you can see the example. 
the next part is a lot of fun. If you want to, when this whole piece is dry, it wasn't dry, so I didn't go all the way through. You can darken your sky by going over it with additional paint. You want your trees to be dry before you do this. And my trees didn't dry, so I didn't go all the way down the page. Uh, I am going to make my snow now, so I did pull out my um, my drying tool to dry it a little bit because I don't want my snow to bleed in my sky. So I'm taking some Copic opaque white. You can take some acrylic paint, just white acrylic paint, um, if you have that, if you don't have the Copic white. I happen to have it and it was within arm's reach, so I grabbed it. And my opic, opaque paint, my Copic opaque white is very thick, so I had to add a little bit of water to it. And now I'm taking uh, a bristly kind of brush. It's really just a cheapo brush with hard bristles. And uh, you could use an old toothbrush to do this, or a new toothbrush if you want to. <laughs> um, and just flick the paint off the edge of my block. Uh, you could use your thumb, your fingertip, and I'm going to town with this. I'm getting a lot of snow on there. There looks like there's a comet flying across the sky, but that's okay. Uh, it's all the look that's gonna work. This is not a piece of a painting that's gonna go on the wall. This is gonna go behind my window. This is my background. Here's my final pieces, my final cards. And again, this is using the um, an elegant Christmas stamp from, um, not too shabby shop please check the link below because I'm gonna give you a link to the not too shabby shop along with a discount please click thumbs up because um, I hope you enjoy this video I'm showing you that um, I put half a tree on the outside of the card and so I decided not to waste the other half and put it on the inside of the card and I think it makes a nice addition to the inside of the card on this card, I did a daytime scene on the outside with my puffy clouds. On this one, I did a nighttime scene. On this one, uh, you can see I removed the window panes. Uh, so it's just a regular window, and I added a little silhouette of a cat. Um, yeah, I love the way they came out. I use a Faber-Castell pit pen in brown to do the flooring on the card. I was going to use these two backgrounds, but they were too dramatic. I love the way they look, but they were too dramatic for the scene, so I did some stenciling on the uh, backgrounds for the cards, and I love the way they come out. Hey, please leave a comment below and uh, check out the hashtag on this hop to check out the other wonderful artists in this hop, and bye!